Hey guys, so before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to give a big birthday shout out to my cousin Kenneth, as today's build will be for his birthday. So Kenneth, if you're watching this, I hope you really enjoy it, happy birthday, and I hope you have a good one. Now let's get on to the video. Today I'll be building the Glorious GMMK Pro with the Glorious' black keycap set. I'll also be swapping out the aluminium plate for a polycarbonate plate and the black knob for a golden one. As for the switches, I'll be using Drop Holy Pandas looped with Crytox 205G0. Now let's get to unboxing everything. Included inside with the GMMK Pro is a pretty standard braided USB-C cable, some spare gasket strips, and both a switch and keycap puller, which honestly isn't the best but it still does its job. To start off, I disassembled the keyboard so that we could access the stabilizers which we will be changing and modding before reassembling the board with the polycarbonate plate. For this build, I'll be swapping out the Glorious GOAT stabilizers for some Duroc V2 stabilizers. However, before getting started, I first had to file down the plate as it doesn't fit with the stabs that I am using. This can easily be done with a nail filer when it comes to the polycarbonate plate. Moving on to the stabilizers, I'll be lubing the housings with Crytox 205G0, the wire with Crytox XHT BDZ, and wholly modding the spacebar before reassembling the board.
As I had previously stated, I will be leaving the Holy Pandas with Crytox 205G0 and I will also be back leaving the springs with Crytox 105 oil. 205G0 is a thicker lube which generally isn't used for tactile switches but Linnaeus instead. However, I personally find the sound and feel of 205G0 on Holy Pandas a lot nicer than a thinner lube such as Tribosis 3204. Now that we are done with all the preparations, all we need to do to assemble is some scuffed movie magic. I also learnt my lesson on why you should always check to make sure the keycap set is compatible with the layout before purchasing. Anyways, I wasn't very happy with the end result as the typing experience felt extremely stiff and the sound wasn't as nice as I would have liked it to be. I tried out a couple of mods which included removing the foam, removing the standoffs and removing the screws that held the plate and PCB together. The result came out feeling really nice to type on as there was a little bit of flex to the board and the keyboard was extremely clacky. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. In the future, I'll be posting more keyboard builds, sound tests as well as some Valorant gameplay and highlight videos. I'm still quite new to video editing, so if you've got some suggestions for improvement, I'm more than happy to hear them in the comments below. A sub to the channel would be immensely appreciated, and with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!